Welcome everyone, I'm in Southern California today and I want to show you something that was actually created in the 1890s and actually was stopped being used in 1950s. Something here in Moreno Valley which is between, what is the town? We got Redlands back here. Redlands is Marino over there. Moreno Valley over here and these are the bad lands. Wasn't there a song written about that? We are going to explore something that is over our shoulder. Justin, take a look at that. That is the old Merino. Merino? Or Merino? Is there a marina in Merino? Not nearly, but there's a marina. That's the old Merino tunnel, which has actually been non-existent for well over half a century. And we're going to see if we can get an up-close look at that half-mile tunnel made completely of brick which is on the other side of this very busy road. I did not expect this much traffic. So let's cross the road okay. and start the vlog. You ready? The other side. Yes. Okay. Join us. Shall you? Great job. So right off the side of the road, there is all of this broken concrete and brick. And people that drive by here probably wonder, what the heck is all this? Well, this is actually a piece of Southern California history. This was actually created a half mile tunnel to actually take water from Big Bear down to the Merino Valley. And this has actually been sitting dormant, desolate, rotting away since 1950. And you can see they have actually torn out where this was and actually I guess probably brought some sort of like equipment in here to smush all this down but basically you would start here and you would actually go underneath the mountain for a half a mile to the other end but this is the, actually the beginning of the tunnel right here pretty crazy there's some old photos you can find online and this is the actual brick this is actually a relic of history right here that right there is the tunnel. Holy cow. That's the top of the archway. That is. Yeah, there's some old photos online and you can actually see. So basically, there was a lot more grass and dirt here than there used to be. So all this was way lower and the tunnel started basically right there. That's the top of the archway of the tunnel. So we're standing on history. Yeah, pretty wild. Now. Recently, in the last 20 or 30 years, I think, they've actually done another tunnel just up the road. But this is the original, the OG tunnel, if you will. Pretty cool, look at this. Let's see if we can get down in here and take a better look. Come a little bit closer, and you can actually see it's too small to actually get my body down inside of there. But maybe we can actually get down in there a little lower, and you can actually kind of see. Can you get the camera any lower down inside of there, like drop it down? So that's basically the tunnel there, the beginning of the tunnel. You can actually kind of tell that if you were to get down inside there and you were hunched over, you could probably walk a pretty good ways through the tunnel. You can see there's about four, maybe three to four feet of sod and grass here. We were not prepared to bring either a backhoe or some sort of shovels. And you gotta wonder, the police department that drives by here, this land is obviously owned by someone. Do you think anyone would get mad if we returned here at a later time and maybe actually dug this out and did an actual legit investigation through the tunnel? Maybe, what do you guys think? This is actually the brick from those famous photos. So this is actually, that's history right there. And that right there is not giving way. That weighs a lot, that is very heavy. This is probably about three feet wide. So you're not really getting through this. This thing was removed by a heavy piece of machinery. This did not just fall apart on its own. Oh my gosh, look at that. There's another big hole here. I really hope something doesn't crawl out of here. Give me the, let me grab this. So basically it started here and it went one half mile through the hills. 
So we're gonna go get in my van that we parked right down the road there, and we're gonna drive around and see if we can get to the exit, which is a little bit more exclusive in area to where we are now. So cross your fingers, and let's hit the van. So as we come up to this bend, there's actually a weird little turn off a dirt road. So we're gonna have to go past it, and then we're gonna have to do a U-turn, and then we're gonna shimmy back onto the dirt road and go to try to find where the exit of the Marino Tunnel was. So right up here should be the turn off, if my calculations are correct. So you can see this is actually unpaved. This is all dirt. This is not where normal people are driving. In fact, most people that are over on that paved road probably never drive down this way because they do not realize that the exit of the tunnel is up here. And you can see how much rainwater is still standing right here in the middle of the road. So should we go through that? I don't know. Should we go through or should we go up there? Let's go this way. Yeah, definitely don't want to go through. Oh my gosh. Oh, do not get stuck. Look how soft the ground is. Oh man, this ground is super soft. I don't want to get stuck in behind Moreno Valley. That Ooh. ground was like sugar sand back there. Ooh. So it's either go through the water or go through the sugar sand. What's sugar sand? I don't sounds know, but it just sounds tasty. good. I think it is a thing. It looks like off in the horizon here, you can actually see where the tunnel exits out. I think, I think this, this is it. Yeah, that's the catch basin right there. Oh, that's awesome. Let's get out. Looks like someone has dumped a lot of roofing materials, shingles, a bunch of nails. And look at this, you can see where this mesh that the concrete goes over the top of. And there's actually a beehive of activity out here in the form of actual beehives. My personal favorite. So we can't get too close to those. But this is where the exit of the tunnel once was. And we're going to see if we can find any remnants of it. Basically, this was the storage basin for the water that ran the half mile down that tunnel. So this is where the water sat. Think of this as a humongous pool. So now we just have to find where the tunnel exited and all that water was emitted out to actually fill this area up. I found it. The swim shorts. Oh, not the tunnel. <laughs> Sorry. You got me really excited. This area obviously used for a lot of gun shooting. Here are some shells here all along the ground. Actually quite a few of them. The bees on the ground. Are they dead bees? Yeah, mostly. Some live bees. I don't want to step on them because I don't want to like... Stir up the hives? Yeah. Is that is that how that works? I don't know. See, I've seen too many specials about killer bees. I'm afraid of stepping on that live bee. There's a live bee down there? Yeah, right there. You gonna go full Thomas J, bro? I hope I don't go full Thomas J. Listen, if I go full Thomas J, you swear you got to get my body out of here. You don't leave me in the forest and buy a mood ring. I'll, I'll be upset. What if you're gone though? Do I have permission to marry Mr. Bixler? Yeah, I mean, you can do whatever you want. I'm dead. Adam, I think the bees are starting to suspect something. Tut tut. They're starting to get a little bit more active. It looks like. Why are we walking this way? Why are we going know, through the bees? There's nothing here. And that's not the only thing are the bees. There's other animals out here because there's actually some feces, lots of feces along the ground here. Wild animals have been out here. It actually smells pretty bad where I'm standing right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it reeks Dude. of poop. Dude, what? What is this? If you look closely, at first I thought this was concrete, but it's actually just hard, solid dirt. At first I thought this was the exit of the tunnel here. You can see how the elevation drops down. So I was thinking down below would be the tunnel, but disappointed that it's not the case. It's just hard packed dirt. But the tunnel would have actually gone 
straight that way towards us. So the tunnel, the end of a tunnel is a mystery. starting to get kind of dark out here now and we're starting to think that maybe the droppings over there are coyote droppings so we got to make this fast we don't want to be out here in the middle of the desert at nightfall probably not the wisest thing that could be it this is looking very promising here yep. oh, yeah. oh yeah this is it okay we have found the exit of where the tunnel was there's the brick There's the brick pieces of the tunnel. Yeah, look at that. Oh, here, sh right here. Shine the flashlight on this brick again. Okay. Down here, lower. Yeah, look at the brick. Put the, let me see the flashlight. You can kind of see the, see the brick there. Look at that, we yeah. found it. Right Dude, this is it. Full of thorns and bristles, but look straight that way. A half mile was the beginning of the Merino Valley Tunnel that actually dumped water from the late 1800s to 1950. And this is just a forgotten relic of the past now. This is awesome. I did not think we were gonna find this, the I mean, exit. This is as deep as I am, so there's definitely a lot filled in here. I don't know if I would jump down in there. No. Probably not, but that's awesome. Let's get a look at the bricks here again. Look at that. That is so cool. Those are definitely old bricks too. The size oh, yeah. is not the same size you'd get at Home Depot or something. Yeah. yeah. This is awesome. We found it, guys. We found it. Look at that. Success! Yes! Look at this. Holy cow. Okay, look at this brick here. I don't know why I was pointing that out, but it just overly excited me. That is freaking cool. Look down there. There's some of the old school bricks right there on the corner. This is all made of brick too. Look, it's covered with concrete. Yeah, they concreted it over. You can see the bricks right here. And there's one of the there's a pipe that would have led into the the drainage basin, the uh, catch basin. Look at Man, that. shine the flashlight over there. What's over on the corners? You see, it goes all the way around. Yeah. So you think maybe it came down the mountain and maybe roared around this way mm -hmm. and then down through there and into the catch basin. So there might be more around there. There was a whole flood channel here. Okay, it continues. Man, good thing we didn't fall into that. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. This is pretty dangerous. Yeah, honestly. Here's a chunk of it down here. Yeah. And then you can see, oh yeah, there's definitely a chunk of that coyote dung. We're seeing a lot of the remnants from those old photos from 1950. All still here. And what's this? The tunnel must have ended and poured out the water into this canal down towards the city where Marino Valley is. Yeah, look at this. It's almost like a series, like a, a series of dams almost. Yeah. So this must have been the water supply down there towards town, down along the road, towards all the ranches in the town. Look at this. Well, we have found history here. Forgotten history. I'm pretty excited about this adventure. Show this here real quick. Show me your flashlight here. This is you can see it's all bricked off and like broken up. Look at this, just remnants, remnants of the past. Actually the ground we're standing on right here on the edge of this little like, what would you call this? Not the basin, but the actual walkway, flood canal, the flood canal, flood like channel. leading into the basin. It's actually starting to push down. If you get close to, too close to the edge, yeah. it's actually the sand is starting to give. Probably not too safe for us to be standing here yeah, right this now. This is a man-made hill for sure. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to become a part of history. That's crazy. Look at that. All in a brick. Metal on brick. That's weird. Huh. I wonder if they dynamited the entrance. Maybe. Maybe they blew it up? Yeah. It's huh. obvious why they would do it. I mean, that tunnel, that little piece of tunnel we did see, if you were in there, you would die. That is not safe. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video. And thanks to Justin Scard right here. From Live Fast Die Poor, check out his channel, Live Fast Die Poor, and Justin Scard, the Sometimes Vlog, YouTube slash Justin Scard. Thanks to him for helping me film. We'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.
What kind of tracks are these? Does anyone know what sort of... These are not human tracks, Justin. No. Look at that. Place your foot in there. Could be a small human or a... That is... Very what kind of heels. tracks are these? Question of the day. A bee. Okay, I see it. Behave, you! I don't know what all the buzz is about, but you better quit it. There's so many nails and metal out here. We're just doing a quick check on my van to see if maybe I got a nail, see if I have a flat tire anywhere on the van. Hopefully not before we depart. So we're looking good on this side. All right, we're good to go. Is that good? Okay, we're good. All right, we're out of here.